Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers. So students, uh, today I've taken a very, very good question based on the concept of algebra. I hope you like the video. So I would request all of you to please pause the video and give this question a try. So students, I hope all of you have tried it. Now, let me quickly tell you a very important concept uh, which is required to solve this question. So students, just remember, if you ever see this type of equation, let's say you have sum of any two variables and their product. So if you have a equation where there are two variables or unke product ka sum given hai. You just need to remember, you have to add one to this equation. Okay. Abhi one add karne se dekho kya hoga. This part is one plus a. And if you look at the remaining part, it has b common in it. And if I take b common, again, I'll be getting one plus a only. Okay. So students, you can see I have one plus a here. I have one plus a here as well. So if I one plus a ko common, le lunga, so I'll be getting one plus a into one plus b. So you can see what happened when I added one. On adding one, I am able to factorize the equation. So please remember, when you see this equation, where there are two variables and their sum of the product, you have to add one in the equation add one in the equation. So that you will be able to factorize it. Now let us come to the question. So you can see I have similar type of equations. Now on adding one. So if I add one on the left hand side, I have to add one on the right hand side, right? So now students, you can see the first equation on factorizing. I can directly write it as one plus X into one plus Y will be equal to three plus one. That is four. Similarly, if I add one to the second equation, adding one on the right hand side, as well as on the left hand side, I will get one plus Y into one plus Z, which is equal to nine. And similarly, adding one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side on this third equation, I'll get one plus Z into one plus X. This comes out to be 16. Uh, now students best method here would be you simply multiply these three equations. Now, if you multiply these three equations, you will be getting one plus X ka whole square, right? Because you can see one plus X is coming two times. Similarly, one plus Y ka bhi whole square a jayega. Uh, one plus Z ka bhi whole square a jayega. Correct students. So ultimately I can say I'll be having one plus X into one plus Y into one plus Z ka whole square, which is equal to four into nine into 60. Now students four into nine into 16 is also a perfect square. Basically four kis ka square hai, two ka square hai, nine kis ka square hai, three ka square hai, or 16 jo hai wo four ka square hai. So this is two into three into four whole square. Now canceling out whole square on both these sides, I'll get the equation one plus X into one plus Y into one plus Z. This is equal to two into three into four. Okay. I hope till here it is clear to all of you. Now students just see the first equation in this first equation. I know one plus X into one plus Y is equal to four. Basically ye value mujhe pata hai four ke barabar. So students say one plus X into one plus Y is equal to four. I can calculate the value of one plus Z. Okay. I hope all of you are getting this. So now I'll directly write here students. I'll get one plus Z is equal to two into three into four. And this four will come in the denominator here, right students. So what will I get? I'll get one plus Z is equal to two into three. That is six. So yeah, so Z key value a jayegi. From here, I'll get Z is equal to five. So agar question mein poocha hota, what is the value of Z? So uh, my answer would have been five. Similarly, students, if I use the second equation now, okay, if I use the second equation, now I know that one plus Y into one plus Z is nine. So basically this part is nine. 
So students, if this part is nine, I can write that one plus x will be equal to two into three into four divided by nine. Okay, students. Now this will give us one plus x will be equal to eight upon three because three into three is nine. So I'll get eight upon three. And from here, I'll get the value of x eight by three minus one. That is five by three. So here, I have x's value again. And similarly, students, if I use this third equation, one plus z into one plus x is sixteen. So this is the product sixteen. Okay. So if this thing is sixteen, now let me write the remaining part here. I'll get one plus y is equal to two into three into four divided by sixteen. Uh, which will give one plus y is equal to three by two, and from here, students, I can say that value of y will be equal to three by two minus one. That is one by two. So, students, you can see I have the value of x, I have the value of y, I have the value of z. I need to find the product of x, y, and z. So, x ka value tha five by three. I'll write it here: x into y into z. X ka value aaya five by three. y ka value tha 1 by 2 aur z ka value tha 5 so students this product comes out to be 25 by 6 so students this is the answer i hope all of you have understood the concept so students if you like the video i request you to please like the video and please share it with your friends and do subscribe our channel thank you everyone